In this problem, we're asked to determine the molar solubility of cadmium sulfide, CDS, in a 0.01 molar solution of cadmium bromide, and we're given KSP for cadmium sulfide. So just as a conceptual note before we dig into this, because cadmium is a common ion under these situations, uh, circumstances. We're dissolving a cadmium salt in a solution that already has cadmium within it. We should expect the molar solubility of cadmium sulfide in this solution to be quite a bit lower than it is in pure water. And we'll see that and return to that at the end of the problem after we've worked through the calculations of the molar solubility. So I've gone ahead and written out the dissolution precipitation equilibrium here. And let's take note here that the molar solubility be, we've been referring to as the value of X at equilibrium, the number of moles of formula units of cadmium sulfide per liter of solution that we can prepare. And we can think of the 0.01 molar concentration of cadmium in the cadmium bromide solution as initial conditions in the language of an ice table. So one way we can think about this is we've got an initial condition of a cadmium bromide solution. And we're going to throw in cadmium sulfide solid tons and tons and tons until we're saturated in cadmium sulfide. And we're interested in the equilibrium situation after throwing in all of that tons and tons and tons of cadmium sulfide solid. Remember, from the last problem, the excess solid does not matter. So we can use as much solid as we want. The cadmium sulfide solid doesn't appear in the reaction quotient which I've also gone ahead and written out here in the form of KSP, is equal to the reaction quotient at equilibrium. All right, so we're going to think about this in ice table terms. This 0.010 molar solution of cadmium bromide contains an initial cadmium 2 plus concentration of 0 0.010 moles per liter. Zero sulfide at this point, and we're imagining X moles per liter of cadmium sulfide solid that we've just thrown in the solution and you got to imagine we haven't turned on this solution just yet we're about to do that this is the initial condition where we've got some mass of cadmium sulfide and we're interested in the amount of that mass that goes into solution per liter of solution at this point i encourage you to pause and in a throwback to our discussion of ice tables compare q to k do think about qsp at this point. Now with the sulfide concentration equal to zero in the cadmium bromide solution, Q initial, QSP initial, is equal to zero. This means the reaction will go in the forward direction and naturally that massive cadmium sulfide solid that we threw in is going to dissolve to some extent. To what extent is the question we want to know the answer to. So at this point on the change line, we're going to call the change minus x. We're going to imagine, because x is a variable, we want to solve for the amount of cadmium sulfide or the concentration of cadmium sulfide that goes into a solution that actually dissolves. And so the change is minus x on the solid side as some of that solid dissolves and plus x for cadmium 2 plus and plus x for the sulfide as the Cd2 plus and S2 minus ions go into solution and become dissolved. So for the equilibrium line, we do the usual dance, add the initial and change lines, and here we end up with zero sol solid left. Actually, it doesn't matter really what the solid amount is on the equilibrium line since we're not going to plug that into the reaction quotient anyway, but let's just call it zero, keep things simple. The sulfide, let me start with that, that's equal to x at equilibrium. That concentration is equal to X at equilibrium, the amount of cadmium sulfide that dissolved, essentially. And the CD2 plus concentration at equilibrium, well, that's equal to X plus the initial amount, 0 0.010 moles per liter. So now let's take these concentrations on the equilibrium line, specifically those on the product side, right? We can ignore the reactant side now because cadmium sulfide solid is there. We're going to take these concentrations, plug them into the reaction quotient at equilibrium, and set that equal to KSP, and then solve for our unknown, which is X. This is the molar solubility of cadmium sulfide, CDS, in this solution of CDBr2. All right, so when we do that, we get KSP is equal to X plus 0 0.010, X plus 0 0.010, that's the cadmium 2 plus concentration at equilibrium, times X, and that's equal to KSP, 1 times 10 to the negative 28th power. 
I'm going to make this a little bit easier to solve, and you don't have to do this if you've got access to a fancy calculator or another tool that can solve this equation easily, but to make it a little bit easier, we'll realize that's a really, really tiny value of Ksp, meaning x is going to be really, really tiny, even in relation to 0 0.010 moles per liter, and so we can assume that this is equal roughly to 0 0.010 times x and solve for x then easily, right, just by dividing by 0 0.010 on both sides, and we get x is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 26 moles per liter. Indeed, this is an extremely, extremely tiny concentration. How tiny is it? Let's actually put that in perspective by thinking about what the solubility would be in a pure water solution. A solution starting from pure water rather than a cadmium bromide solution, I should say. Well, in that case, we would end up with Ksp is equal to x squared, right? Since there would be no cadmium present in the solution initially, this portion of the ice table, this uh, cell of the ice table, if you like, would be equal to zero. And so we would end up with Ksp is equal to x squared, and thus x is equal to the square root of Ksp, and that comes out to 1 times 10 to the negative 14th moles per liter. Now that's still a very, very tiny concentration, but notice what the initially dissolved cadmium has done. It's reduced the solubility by a whopping 12 orders of magnitude, from 10 to the negative 14th to 10 to the negative 26th power. Absolutely mind-boggling common ion effect at a concentration of cadmium that seems you know, pretty innocent at 0.01 moles per liter. We see a massive decrease in the solubility of cadmium sulfide in that cal cadmium solution.